Hello, I'm Charlie Clark, and I've recently taken over the responsibility from Deanna Throna of the chair of the Strategic Planning Committee for Eagle Creek. I'm here with fellow SPC member Jane Ratsky. Over the last three years, SPC has a regular dialogue with Talia County. We meet with them approximately two to three times a year, going over various issues such as development around the local area, water management, and transportation. This has informed our strategic thinking on priorities for Eden Creek. Last year, we had a full house when we had a town hall meeting with the head of development for Collier County. Given member interest, on March 17th, we will organize another town hall meeting in collaboration with Collier County. The subject of this meeting will be water management. Mr. Ratsky is going to give us some details on this. Following the, the lead of Miami-Dade County and other lowland counties of southern Florida, Collier County last year embraced the need to better monitor the phenomenon of sea rise and the eventual implications of, of that rise. Current projections suggest that local sea levels in southwest Florida may rise between a half to one foot by year 2030. County Director of Capital Projects, Amy Patterson, was designated last year to coordinate the overall effort for the county in of a, its analysis of how to better harden the shoreline and to better mitigate potential flooding that could result from sea rise phenomena. We're fortunate that Ms. Patterson has agreed to meet with us at our town hall on March 17th. At the level of Eagle Creek, we recognize that water management as a longer term but vital strategic issue needs to be uh, to studied more carefully, especially when combined with hurricanes and other storms and severe storms. We are on the front lines. At a low elevation, we're fairly exposed to any future rise in sea level. The C4 Canal, which forms the backbone of Eagle Creek and our golf course, is the only downstream exit for the much larger Lely watershed management area. And finally, our weir is one of the handful of infrastructure barriers in the entire county able to control the interface of salt and freshwater flows during high and low tide. Better understanding of sea rise and local water management best practice seems strategically obvious for the well-being of our community. We need to partner, therefore, with those leading this effort so that internally we can best shape our own approach within Eagle Creek and externally we can help leadership of, that, of this effort to understand our needs and leverage actions that best service us. At the town hall, we will learn about both the current study and the future actions and investments which will address issues of, of importance to us over time. We will learn how to better manage the interface of salt and fresh water, including the Eagle Creek Weir, how to better manage our groundwater aquifer, including the potential for saltwater intrusion, how to better forecast the impact of severe storms on our water systems, and how to better coordinate over time with those outside Eagle Creek who have the knowledge and resources to address our issues. Ms. Patterson will share her work, the status of the current program, including future opportunities, and possible implications for Eagle Creek. The special town hall offers the members a unique opportunity to learn about the phenomenon and its potential impacts for the community and all of Lower Florida. We look forward to you joining James and myself at this meeting at Tuesday, March 17th, 3 o'clock, in the Cypress Room in the Clubhouse. Thank you very much.